Hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Canadian blogger here, Daniel from blogorder.com, and this video is going to be a character health. So let's get health in your character and put it in a widget over their head. Let's do it. So far we have my character who does not have any health in him, and then I also have a way to damage him. So I've already got an AI chasing him and attacking him. Whatever, however you're doing your damage in your game, maybe you got similar. I'll just do this really quickly. So first, in order to get my character damage, I need something to damage him. So I'm just going to add a box collision to the sword of my attacking enemy. So I'm just going to hit the uh, old sword there, add a box collision. Did I spell that wrong? That's embarrassing. That's okay. Sword collision. I uh, just gotta resize this baby. Smaller. Boy effect. Just gonna adjust her really quickly for you. Don't worry, the rest of the video will be way more less lame than this. But anyways, just getting a box collision so we can actually add damage to my character. Good enough. Beautiful. Okay, so with that uh, the collision, I'm going to go down in the details to on component begin overlap. Oh, by the way, yeah, I just downloaded Unreal Engine 5 and uh, yeah, going well so far. But also, this, whatever, everything we're doing here works in Unreal 4 too, like same steps and everything, so don't worry. But, anyways, yada, yada, yada. Here we are back. And now. Let's go make that health. So I'm gonna go back into the character. So now here we go, let's get started with health, <laughs> giving the character health. So back here, uh, do we, I'm gonna click a variable and we'll call it health. Uh, I want it as an integer, so that's great. I'm gonna compile it and then just go over here to the default and input 100. So 100 is his full health and he'll start with full health. So, with that, we shall now go over to the enemy blueprint again, because that's where the damages are going to occur, or wherever your damage is occurring. Probably, maybe even in your um, here in your character blueprint, probably. But me, the damage is coming from the sword attacking him. So that's where I'm going to put it. So on the overlap, I'm going to cast over to uh, the character. Uh, mine is called the playable monster. And then I'm going to put the object pin into the other actor. So now that we have a health uh, variable over here in our character, we created it and made it to 100, we can now drag health off. So I'm going to get health. And then, since this is every time this uh, box collision hits them, I'm going to also subtract health, so the damage. So I'm going to hit subtract. Right there and I'm just gonna subtract um say like 10 from the hundred every time so now oh shoot yeah also drag off and hit set so set the health now and then we'll set the health to this new number the subtracted number every time that happens great so the next thing we got to do is we'll make that widget to put the uh, health widget over his head <coughs> Jeez, Louise pardon me Okay, so now let's create the widget. Uh, content browser. Already got a widgets folder. I'm gonna right click, and so are you. And we'll go to user interface, uh, widget blueprint. And I'll call this one the, well, yeah, your health widget, but I'm just gonna call mine monster one. Health widget. Um, I'm gonna open it up. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go under panel, just add a canvas panel to it. And then also, instead of fill screen, let's just go to custom. Let's put a height as 100 and width as 200. That should work for what we're doing. In fact, I know it will, because I did this three times before filming it. <laughs> 
and I kept screwing up. So now let's put the progress bar on. I'm now we're just fill it out to the length of that. Drop to the bottom, I guess. And then just uh, anchor it as well. Don't forget that. I'll choose this one over here to go the full length. Let's compile that guy. Uh, we did the size, didn't we? Yes, good. So now if we head over to the details panel, two most important things right here is percentage. Let's go 100. And uh, before we bind it, I'm just going to change this color. So down in appearance, fill color and opacity. I'm just going to make it red for health. And now, uh, now we can bind it. So this percentage, 100%, it's 100% full right now. We're going to bind how full this is. Oh yeah, we're making it go bar fill left to right. If you wanted it otherwise, of course, this is where you would change it. Uh, so, yeah. We're going left to right, though. And 100%, we're going to bind the percentage, so create a binding. And then in here, all we're going to do is just cast the character and get the health. Almost. we got to do one more thing. So cast to mine as the uh, playable character. <coughs> Sorry again for all the coughing. Not even sick. Uh, gonna get the player pawn off the uh, object pin, and then all, and then we're just yeah, get the health. Then plug this health in, then take it out. Off here, hit divide. Then plug in a hundred. Now plug this into the return node. That'll work. So now the widget works. We just gotta put it on top of our uh, character's head. So I'll go over to the viewport to my character. I'll select the mesh, and then with the mesh selected, I'll just add a component, and that component will be a widget. We'll choose the widget. And over here, yeah, there it is. Under user interface, widget class. We gotta look for our health widget. Shouldn't be hard. There it is. Oh, the draw size as well. Ours was 200 by 100. So let's go 200 by 100. I'm also all turned around, so. Rotate at 90 degrees, the widget. Oops, I went over, didn't I? And then W to change its height. Bring it up. I'll, I'll put it about there or something. Put it wherever you feel, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, let's let's test it out. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna make I'm gonna duplicate it and flip another one around so we can see it from both sides. So let's just duplicate that uh, widget there and rotate this one. 180 degrees. Yeah, now we can see it from both sides. So now let's make sure this works. Oh wait, I didn't do anything when he goes to zero. Well, whatever, let's make sure it works. Throw my frisbee. Come on, pirate. Is it going? Yes, thank you. Oh, that would have been so embarrassing. Keep going. But nothing will happen. We didn't trigger anything. I forgot that. We'll do a, a quick level transition or something so we know when it goes to zero. And that we will do in the character. Yeah. So back in the character's event graph, how are we going to do this one? We will just... I guess put it under an event, okay. Oh, event tip. And we'll let's grab the health. And then let's drag off the health and let's go with a less than or equal. And with this less than or equal, we'll keep it as zero. We'll drag branch off. And then if this ever our health drops below zero, then we will just just do a quick uh level transition. This is a crappy level transition I'm doing. Uh, I have uh, in the details of this video, guys, and girls, whatever, <laughs> and everyone, but uh, in the details, uh, there's, a, there's a link to a better level transition. What I'm doing right here is really cheap, and it's kind of clunky, so there's a way to smooth it out really fast in the details of another video, and I'll put that link in these details. <laughs> but anyways, here's a just quick one. Okay, so health goes to zero, 
blah, blah, blah. We're just going to open a uh, level by name. And I'm just going to type in the name of the level we're on just so it restarts. It's just the third person example one. But oh, do whatever you want, obviously. A widget come up, uh, game over. Uh, but this is a really crappy open level. I do have a level transition. It shows this, but in the details, again, it's there's a way better way to do this. But anyways, now let's test out, make sure we did it. And it worked. Wait, we already know it worked, but now it's just that quick level transition just to seal the deal. And with that, thank you very, very much for checking out this video. Come on, pirate, attack me. There we go. Okay, so it worked. Great. So we added health to our character, put it in a widget above his head, and then made something happen. Again, there's a smoother level transition. You just have to create a loading screen, and then uh, you just cast that with a delay. Details are in the uh, in details are in the details. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Daniel from BlogOrder.com signing out. See you later, guys.